Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. So this is your reading for love. This will cover the 16th to the 31st of July. So this will cover love for singles, those in partnerships, those in um, separation, those whatever, wherever your mind is when it comes to love, whoever you're thinking about at this point, this is, is possibly a message for you. As always, these are general readings. So you take what messages resonate and you leave the rest. Um, this will be for Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter. If your Sun video doesn't resonate, perhaps your Moon or the other placements might. Feel free to check those videos. If any of these messages resonate, please do me a favor and hit the like button. Drop a comment below if you choose. Um, thank you so much for your love and support, Aquarius. I am so grateful for, for all the subscriptions for all the support y'all rock if any of you are interested in a private reading with me my details are in the description box and please follow me on instagram at the the moon goddess tarot okay let's see what's happening with aquarius and love aquarius sun moon rising venus jupiter from 16th to the 31st of july What's the messages you want me to share with Aquarius when it comes to their love? <sighs> Spirit guides, Holy Spirit, Goddess God, the Most High, Ashe. What are the messages? May they make them clear. May they be for the highest good of all involved with harm to none. Ashe. Spirit guides, what are the messages you want me to share with Aquarius? Okay, Nine of Wands. Yes. So I get the feeling of pessimism when it comes to your love for whatever reason, Aquarius. Well, Knight, King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Is this you or is this somebody else's energies coming through here? Um, this could be Scorpio Pisces or Cancerian energies. Somebody feeling very like um, solid and secure in their emotional life. You have the Hierophant reversed there. So some kind of breakdown in a relationship or a structure, um, maybe looking at it from an unconventional, in an unconventional way. Queen of Rods here, down the middle. Okay, so Aquarius, I feel like you are feeling like that god or goddess. Okay, I feel like y'all feeling yourselves, y'all feel emotionally balanced. Um, I feel like y'all healing, y'all putting in the work. <sighs> okay, this energy here. That's your energies. Um, I don't know why you, there's this level of pessimism. We'll clarify these cards. It seems with this nine of, of wands reversed. I don't know. I feel like giving up. Like you're giving up. I don't know. Is this is this queen and king your energies? Or is this energies from somebody outside of you? There's Taurus here. There is um, Scorp there's Leo uh Sagittarius Aries energies like I said there's Scorpio Pisces or um Cancerian energies here but Queen of Rods this is a very like um uh, confident energy confident secure in themselves very seductive type of energy then you have this King of Cups balanced energies this person might be very spiritual um, very spiritually inclined, very creative. They can be artist type energies. So I wonder if this is just a combination of your energies coming through. Let's clarify and see what's happening here for you in love. I feel like y'all embodying these energies. It's actually quite beautiful. Okay, why is the nine of wands here for mm, just saw the empress and the lovers why is this nine of wands here for aquarius why is this nine of wands here for aquarius why is the nine of okay so you feel pessimistic about a relationship of some sort that's broken down or there's some sort of disharmony within a relationship. Maybe you can't see any goodness in it. Maybe it's not, it's there, but it's not quite there. There's something not quite right, but I feel like there's some pessimism, giving in, throwing in the towel type of vibe. I don't know, maybe you pursuing, um, 
um, being independent because there's a hierophant here. So something broke down, separation, breakup, di um, divorce. Okay. Um, and maybe it's between these two types of energies. Maybe you embody one of these energies and the other person does. Maybe because of the breakdown of the relationship, maybe you're more embodying this type of energy, being independent, connecting to your spiritual self, um, that type of vibe. Why is the King of Cups here? We've got under the deck before you shuffle any further is Ten of Wands reverse. So I feel like y'all dropping a load. Okay, and here is the tower. As I said that, dropping a little. Something definitely ended. Something broke down. Something. You feel like something's been destroyed in some way. But I mean, like, things falling apart can also be blessings. So I don't feel like... Considering you have your Queen of Rods and King of Cups upright, I'm thinking that this is a shift for good, uh, you know, leading to something good. Why is the Hierophant here? Thank you. Here is the Nine of Wands again reversed. So I feel real heavy sense of pessimism. Throwing in a towel, giving up. Maybe you don't feel like anything. Maybe this is what you really crave, this harmony, but you don't feel like it can ever come for you. Or you can ever hold it or or, or some kind some kind of um but this is clarifying the higher font reverse. The higher font, this is spirituality, this is Anything established, okay? Relation, like, like I said, marriage, divorce, okay? Um, this is Taurus energy as well. So I don't know if you guys might be dealing with a Taurus. Maybe y'all feel stubborn about something or some dealing with somebody who's quite stubborn. I don't know. Judgment reversed here. So, hmm. I don't know. Don't miss. Don't miss the lesson. But for some reason, because you're Queen of Rods and King of Cups are out, right? I feel like you are seeing the lesson. Why is this Queen of Rods here for Aquarius? Why is the Queen of Rods here? Five of Wands reversed. So I don't know. I feel like Aquarius is battling between being single, being independent, and being in a relationship. I feel like you feel like in order to be in a relationship, it means giving up an aspect of yourself. And if you are with somebody who you feel that that's the case, then that's not the one for you. Because I feel like when you are with your one, the one in that in this space in time, whenever that will be or no or whenever, that there's no need to compromise, that it's just aligned. There's no need to fix anything or, you know, it's just aligned. And sometimes it's not always, it doesn't work out that way from the beginning. But then through like, the ups and downs, things falling apart, things breaking up, then you become more aligned with the energies. Right now, there's something not quite in alignment. Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. I don't know, something like, maybe you feel like something's being rushed and that's what's making you feel defensive. Maybe somebody was putting too much pressure on you in a relationship and you kind of backed out. Or you want things to you want the things to slow down. It's caused like a whole upheaval. It's a pentacles is here. So whatever it is that's happened is leading you to something new. New growth. Yeah, like I feel like y'all kind of laid down the law or said something to somebody, and maybe it wasn't taken. Taken um in the most harmonious of ways you got justice under that queen of swords so whatever happened had to happen whatever happened has been justified in happening why is this king of cups here for spirit okay nice and easy nice and slow nice and clear why is the king of cups here for aquarius why is the king of cups here for aquarius Wow, okay, the fool. So yeah, and I feel like whatever this new spiritual, I feel like y'all on a new spirit, is a spiritual awakening of some sort, some spiritual healing, is an, or maybe a new spiritual journey. Or whatever is happening is leading you to a spiritual journey. It's like, um, 
and the fool is looking towards the, the, the king of cups so i'm thinking is this king of cups somebody outside of you or is just aspects of you i feel like you're embodying your emotional stability within your own space not compromising yourself, not diluting yourself. And that's fine. You don't have to do so. You know what I mean? Like, don't feel like you are creating. I mean, like, you got to trust your intuition, but I don't feel as if this is an energy of sabotage. With your king and queen upright. I feel like it's about you embodying all of you. Without compromise. That's what I feel this is. Give me give me a... um. Tell me more about this Tara. Why is the Tara here? Wheel of Fortune reversed. So it might just be down to timing. What's happened there? This Ace of Pentacles is here again. King of Pentacles is underneath that. So maybe you're focusing on your money. Maybe you're focusing on building stability for yourself before you look to delve into um, a situation with somebody else. But also because these nine of wands are reversed, I'm thinking you might be a bit self-sabotaging because there's pessimism. And pessimism isn't necessarily progressive. It's not productive energies, is it? Tell me about this queen. Okay. King of Swords is here. <sighs> Not sure why, but um, hang on. You might be thinking a bit too much, but King of Cups and Queen of Rods, hmm. It's very interesting. Tell me more about the tower. Why is the tower here? Okay, the sun card came out. So yeah, I don't know. The sun card came out and <laughs> the sun card is here. All right. So I feel like you're all looking at dealing with your emotional life in a different way. I feel like you're all like burning down the self-sabotaging patterns that you've been in before and now trying to fit like focused on healing it. You got King of Cups here and Page of Wands reversed. Sorry, King of Cups reversed and Page of Wands with this Sun card. So after all the, the turmoil, okay, after all that, then comes in a new offer for a new spark again, along with the Sun. So whatever's happened, like I said, I feel like it had to happen for this to happen for this ace of pentacles and the sun to come is that like you have to break it down to build rebuild it it's the energies i get don't be pessimistic and don't feel like you don't doubt what you have the steps you've taken as long as you know that the steps you've taken is to build a stronger foundation stand solid in that i don't feel like you've dim like i feel like it i mean it's showing here you shone light on something even if it's something within you it's like you want a new path this full card here as well so you got the sun the fool you got the tower it's like new energies all new energies watch your thoughts what's happening with aquarius's person what's the energy surrounding aquarius's person new love or separated love or current partnerships or you know possibilities what's the energy surrounding this person for aquarius what's the energy surrounding aquarius's person person with the energies Ooh, okay three wow strength so considering you got the sun card here leo and and that's the card associated with leo well i mean sorry the sun is the ruler of leo actually is what i'm trying to say and the strength card is here and that's associated with leo so you got lots of leo energy maybe a leo season is going to bring some change you got the two of swords while well, y'all making some decisions here and you have the hermit 11 11. you have the the hermit here so it's virgo energy so it's like I 
I feel like this person is trying to de 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 trying to figure out how to approach you. They're between two minds. Should I should I pull back? Should I just fix myself, work on myself, just do my own thing, or you know, should I come forward with some um, some strength, some compassion, some empathy? Am I open, or should I should I just let things happen? I feel is that energy surrounding them. They're between two minds. You got nine and eight. Was it the strength card first and then the hermit? Yeah, eight and nine. So I feel like they've maybe they were using coming to you with empathy and trying to show you that, you know, they're fine, that all is well, trust them or whatever the case may be. And now they're trying to determine based on whatever, what, what's happened, whatever this tower moment was, something happened that caused catastrophe. At least it appears as catastrophe. I just think it's just recalibrations. And now they're trying to decide if maybe they should just pull back and do the whole solitude thing. Bottom of the deck is King of Coins reversed. So the Hermit, this is card associated with Virgo. You got King of Coins here. This is Virgo. This is Taurus. This is Capricorn energy here. It's reversed. They don't feel in their element. They feel like um, maybe they don't stack up. Maybe they're not enough. The High Priestess is here. Yeah, um, this person might be, I don't know, I feel like they're not sure what they're dealing with. Wow, you got Ace of Cups here. All right, so I feel like they don't, they're not sure. There's judgment here at the bottom. All right, so that's like commitment as far as a relationship. We got death reverse under that judge. Um, judgment card so something's not quite ended you got the world card something's not completed <laughs> three major cards one after the other okay three of coins reversed here i feel like they i feel like you're the one pulling the strings here you're standing your your ground feeding your own self there's pessimism here though that's that might be blocking you but whatever you've done is leading you to newness and this person is like between minds here, but something's not quite ended. That's the, that's for sure. Because you got death reversed, you got the world reversed. Something is not completed. You got judgment here. And I was saying to you, I feel like whatever has happened with the sun coming up, the tower, the sun, and all this other energy, and you going after your spirituality or working with your spiritual self or healing and standing in your own light. And now there's the full card as well. I was and I, I was saying I feel like it's um, an awakening. You're going through an awakening. Everybody's going through some level of awakening. And judgment card speaks of that. Whatever message, some message is coming through. Um, or they might be receiving a message or wanting to receive a message from you. But there's a level of commitment here. There's 20. So it's two. It's that balanced energy. Ace of Cups, new love, new fulfillment, new pleasures, feeling good. But right now they're between two minds. They're making the decision if they should like pull back or if they should just push through and try to keep the connection going. I feel like they, there's some hidden energies here, but I feel like it's about, it's like they don't quite get you, I feel. I feel like they're trying to figure you out for some reason. And it takes it puts them outside of their comfort zone because you're airy and I feel like this energy is very earthy. Okay, let's clarify. Why is the strength why is the strength card here for Aquarius person? Why is the strength card here? Why is the strength card? What's the message of the strength card? Let's make it nice and clear. Thank you. Prince of Cups, um, this person might be younger than you, okay? Or this person, yeah. 
that's maybe why they're trying to find the strength. Maybe they're a bit intimidated by your energies. Not necessarily older or younger in time, but like spiritually, you know, spiritually wise. I don't know. Because you're the king of cups. They're a prince of cups. You know what I mean? They're, they're, you're more solid in your emotions, I feel. They're a bit back and forth. Hence why they're between minds. Got queen of cups here at the bottom of the deck. All right. Um, hmm. Why is this hermit card here for Aquarius's person? Two of Wands. Yeah. So they're definitely weighing. They're definitely trying to figure out where they stand, what they want. Ace of Cups here again for them. Twice. They want the new beginning. I feel like they want to start over. It's an element of starting fresh, an element of healing as well. There's lots of healing, but that's for everybody. That's the whole point of all the energies that we are experiencing now. Lots of healing. We've been forced whether we want to or not. You got five of pentacles reversed here. So coming out of the cold, really. Um, coming out of a dark place, moving towards the sun. I feel like <laughs> this person is a Leo. Leo energy coming through strong here. Queen of Pentacles down the middle. So that real wifey, husbandy, home type, domesticated love type of vibe. King of Cups reversed. All right. Why is this Two of Swords here? Why is this Two of Swords here? Why is this Two of Swords here? Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, they want to put in the work. You got the Ace of Cups and you got um, Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work, putting in the work, healing work, healing themselves, healing themselves, healing this relationship. Um, they're taking heed to whatever you all discussed and wanna, but they're being very um, strategic. They're not just like, and I feel like that's how they see you as well. Is like, they see you as like the, the, the shiniest um, berry on the tree, whatever, I don't know. But they, they're not like, they don't, they're very, um, what's the word? Deliberate in wanting a connection with you. It's not just random. Why is the king of coins here for Aquarius, this person? Why is the king of coins here? Make it nice and clear. Why is the king of coins here for Aquarius this person? Why is the king of coins here? Spirit guides, thank you. <laughs> Gotta be specific, you know. Four of wands reversed. So it's like I was saying, they feel outside of themselves. They're normally very confident, I feel, very secure. They know their focus. They always plan ahead. I feel like this is Capricorn energy too. Like... They don't just do things willy-nilly. And because of what's happened, now they don't know who they are. They're like rocked. Their, their foundation is rocked. They don't feel comfortable outside of being sure of where they are. You know, Aquarius, air energy. So you like, you know, you're flowing, fl you know, wherever. But they're like, and trying to figure out where they are in this. And then here they are. Four of Wands reversed. So you see, like, they don't know which direction to navigate themselves. Oh, bless them. Oh, my God. The high priestess reversed is here again. Well, it's upright, but reversed. So I feel, again, they're between minds. Between minds. You got King of Cups here reversed. Between minds hurt or missing you. Okay, why is, why is it Ace of Cups here? You got the Hermit reverse, so they have the Hermit twice again. One upright, one reverse. Remember, I, I keep saying they're between minds, so they're trying to figure out how to deal with this. They're confused. Bless them. <laughs> confused. Your card is here, the star, always showing up for you. To remind you about being aligned, about flowing, about letting go, about releasing. Why is this Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here? Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aquarius person? Spirit guides. 
Holy Spirit, why is the Ace of Cups here? Okay, so you got strength here again. All of these cards for this person keep repeating themselves. All right, so this person, you got strength reversed. So where before they were, con they, again, should I come towards Aquarius? Should I not? Should I be patient? I don't know where this is. I don't know. I, I'm so confused. It's the energy I get. You got judgment here. Judgment showed up in the other deck as well. The first for them as well. And you got three of pentacles. This person wants to work with you. This person wants to build with you. Oh, this person wants you. I get eight, eight of cups reversed. They're not, they're not, they're not walking away. And this energy keeps coming through on for every single reading I've done for the other side. The other person is always like, I am not going anywhere. I feel like these relationships are being um, healed. It's phew, next level, next level. Like our consciousness is shifting and there's a unif unification coming, happening between divine masculine and divine feminine. This is, again, remember, we all have divine masculine and feminine within ourselves. So it's like a healing within ourselves and a healing outside of ourselves. Um, so, yeah. What's the word of advice for Aquarius? What's the word of advice? What's the word of advice for Aquarius for love from the 16th? Okay. So your first card is Queen of Cups. So you there's King of Cups and Queen of Cups here for you. Well. Okay. <laughs> so much beautiful energy. You got Ace of Cups here. Queen of Pentacles is here. The High Priestess is here. Alright. Alright, let's go again. Knight of Cups showing up again, showing up here. What's the word of advice you want to share with Aquarius from the 16th and 31st for love? What's the word of advice what do you want for Aquarius to know, Spirit, guys? Holy Spirit. What's the message? Okay. So, Four of Swords and Queen of Cups. Your message, your advice is continue with your healing process, okay? Continue focusing on you. All right continue pulling back and being in your own space for the time being i feel like everything is going to work itself out this is the general i feel like wow here's the sun again again aquarius the sun is here all right so perhaps i feel I feel generally for a lot of people leo season is going to make a lot of changes but in august i feel like it's the leo leo season part of the august this august part of leo season i feel is when we can start to see a lot of things change just continue working on you continue feeding yourself continue um flowing with the energies continue taking your deep breaths nurturing um going to spas doing just like feeding yourself, feeding your spirit, feeding your spirit. What does your spirit need to thrive? Because your day in the sun is coming. Um, wow, here's the hermit. So like I was saying, continue to connect with yourself, your inner self. What do you need? What do you want? Be specific about what you want. Be clear about what you want. Page of wants. All right, so... Be very clear on what you want. Which I think is what has caused this little issue. But um, I feel like what's, what's this person, what's the person likely to do? What's Aquarius's person likely to do in this situation? What's Aquarius's person likely to do in this situation? What are they thinking? What are they going to do? What do they want to do? spirit guides what does Aquarius this person want to do thank you wow temperance so they want healing they want balance they want alchemy between you two they want things to flow all right this is Sagittarius energy here um they 
this might also take patience because they're very much between two minds. They don't know how to approach you. They don't know how to approach you. This person is either younger than you physically, like in, in or they're younger than you spiritually. Like um, you might be an old soul and you know, it might be that type of vibe, but patience is needed, healing, um, balance, healing yourself. They need to heal themselves, but that's what they want with you, okay? That's what they want with you. I feel like, um, what's the possible final outcome for this situation with Aquarius? What's the possible final outcome for this situation with Aquarius? Possible outcome, spirit guys. Thank you. Six of swords. Six of wands. Look at that. Do you see that? That celebration. Okay. Recognition. Success. Glory. The sun. Not once, but twice. Go through the, the darkness to come out on the other side. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Queen of Pentacles building that stable, that stable the high priestess here again. All right. So I feel like, like I've been saying, um, the chart is showing here. Movement is going to happen, but you got to be patient. Things are going to might feel like they're taking forever to like take over, but that's where the deep breaths come in. That's where the deep breaths come in. That's where connecting to yourself comes in. And that's where knowing yourself comes in. And that's where, you know, there's no need to compromise anything. You're either aligned with the situation or you're not. Um, but this person wants a reconciliation, I reckon. And if there is anything hidden, I feel like they want to bring it up to the surface. They want to talk about it. They want to face it. But they feel very outside of themselves right now. So I guess they have to go through their thing where they feel like, you know, like they know what, where they're standing, how they're standing, how they feel. What's the message for spirit? What's the message for Aquarius for love? What's the message you want me to share with Aquarius for love? message you want me to share with Aquarius for love spirit thank you take time to breathe out <laughs> oh which is why I just said that I feel like that's what they're doing so you both I feel like there's mirroring here again a new start is coming Ashi. hundred balanced spirituality and practicality all right and with your king of cups here with you being king of cups Feel like that's what you're trying to do. It's time to release negativity. All right. Um, spirit guides, Holy Spirit, what message do you want to share with Aquarius for love? Give me a good, uplifting, solid message for Aquarius to wrap up this reading for love with them and their partner. Hmm. You got regeneration, observer and exchanging gifts, trying to like run out together. And you know, when I see three, I pay attention. But let's shuffle properly. What's the message you want to share with Aquarius for love? What's the message you want to share with Aquarius for this love situation? What's the message you want to share with Aquarius for love? Spirit guides, higher selves, Holy Spirit. What's the message you want me to share with Aquarius for love? Make it nice and clear. Thank you. Exchanging gifts. There it is again. And wow, regeneration at the bottom. So yeah, if they were to be, they would come out and they certainly did. So this is a new, a new start, new path, new energies flowing in, new life. So when you thought like the tower knocked down everything and it was a catastrophe, I'm sure it felt that way, but you need to like fire cleanses, right? Fire cleanses and, and brings new life. And that's what's happened. That's what's happening. That's what's potential. Poten that's potential energies. That's, you know, exchange. I guess it's like balanced energy. There's no need to compromise in other words. 
you have something to offer, they have something to offer, you all work together. And it just, it, it just grows, you know, there's life. Observer here again. Can't make it up. Those three cards were your messages and here they are. Can't make it up. There's mending here. Fork in the road, which is how I feel about a lot of people feel right now. Like, just go with it. Keep breathing. Keep doing the work. Keep doing the inner work. Keep facing yourself. Keep facing your darkness. Take your mask off. Mask off. Mask off. We all be working towards mask off love. This pretending, putting on facades, you know, pride and ego and all that. All these things that have been blocking us from, from real unity. It's time to end it. Cut it. Authenticity. Straight up. Okay, what's your final message, Spirit Guides? Holy Spirit, what's the final message for Aquarius for this love reading? Nice uplifting message. What's the final message, Spirit Guides, for love, for Aquarius? What do you want me to share with Aquarius? What's the message? Okay, here we go. Clear the path clear the path this has come out so many times and it made so much sense clear the path and you know what there's the the thing be generous is at the bottom i don't know if that makes any sense to you guys the thing is about this period of time as well is that we don't have to do a lot eclipses do the work for us so ease up on yourself ease up on on thinking that you have to do so much the eclipse season will do it for you okay call on your angels so anytime you might be feeling a bit lost outside of yourself not sure need assistance your angels are waiting for you they will not get involved unless you ask so call on them clear the past and clear the path <laughs> wow you cannot make it up be generous Clear the path and clear the past, Aquarius, okay? So those are your messages for love, Aquarius. I hope the messages have resonated. If they have, drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching my video and being here still. <laughs> drop a comment below if the messages have resonated. Share the video, like it. Um, subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell so you know that I've posted new videos. So Aquarius, big love to you and until next video, laters, bye.